Here are the top five dry fly patterns that you need to learn how to tie and start fishing with to catch some fish. Full disclosure, this is like everything fly fishing and fly tying and probably everything else in the world is just my opinion. This is what works for me and I hope they work for you. Um, and stay tuned near the end of the video. I am doing a little giveaway. To get things started, I'm not gonna be ranking the flies because I think in theory they're they're all fantastic flies and they all catch fish but this first one I am going to rank. This is the first one that you absolutely need to learn to tie. You need to start fishing with it right away and that is going to be the elk hair caddis. Super easy to tie, crazy crazy effective and you only need three materials. You're going to need some dubbing, hackle, elk hair. That's it. I'm going to um, Post some of the tutorials up in the corner here and also in the description below. So if you want a step-by-step -step on any of these patterns, um, be sure to check out those descriptions and I can walk you through the entire process of tying these. But 100%, you need to start tying this. If you've never tied them, never fished them, you need to today. Next on the list, um, and I'm sticking with the caddis, is gonna be the streaking caddis. So this one, I, I love it. it's it's not only if I you know caught trout with it um, but also bass um, I think just because of how how much larger it is um, but the best thing about this one is how you can fish it um, because of the way it's cut on that head it's almost got like this sort of hopper hopper head so once you cast it out and you dead drift it on the retrieve back if you just kind of strip it really small it's going to kind of do a little dip and that triggers the fish at the right time of day this will catch a ton of fish and this one's even simpler it's only got two materials you just need dubbing and elk hair so give this one a try again i'll try to leave descriptions in the corner or down below check that out you can't have a top five dry fly pattern list without an atoms this is a parachute atoms um, you can try the regular atoms, but this hands down, I mean, for a reason, it's for, I don't know how many decades, if not more, this has been the number one dry fly. In my opinion, the best. Tie these in, you know, 18 if you can. 18 is a little difficult. Um, probably to 14, but 16 all day. I'll fish this parachute atoms in size 16 all day a little bit more difficult um, in comparison to the caddis patterns but amazing 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 pattern go check that one out go tie it next on the list is probably one of my absolute favorite patterns to tie in general the creativity um, the options the colors the materials you can use are kind of endless uh, from a creativity standpoint um, again, not all flies are tied just to catch fish. It's for the love of the hobby, right? And and then there's you obviously have flies that catch fish. This is a bit of both. That is going to be the cripple, um, or it's also known as a stillborn. These are the these are the the flies that can't quite get out of their nymph shuck. Um, and now, technically, technically, it is an emerger. I put it in the dry fly category simply because I fish it like a dry. Sort of let it dead drift, right? Remember, it's stillborn, so it's just floating along as an easy meal for trout, right? When they can't get out, trout know that that's easy. That ain't going nowhere. They're going to hit it. Um, but absolutely outstanding pattern, and you got to give this one a shot. So, again, I'll leave descriptions. Not the last on my list, but the last for this video. Again, another favorite. This pattern will get my creative juices going. So as a fly tire, if you're new to fly tying, you'll eventually get there. Some of the some of the fly tires have been doing this for a while will understand what I'm saying. You kind of get into this creative funk sometimes, right? It's what fly do I want to tie? What materials? What colors? Oh, let me try this one. Let me try that one. Anyways, this pattern will get my creative juices going. A dry dropper setup it's my go-to 
Um, I will take this fly over any indicator or float or whatever over anything else, right? Whenever you can put a natural presentation and not throw in any plastics or foam or whatever, go with it. Um, so the next fly is obviously going to be the stimulator. And it's called the stimulator for a reason. It stimulates the fish. It is on the larger side in comparison to most dry flies. So when you cast this out and it splashes that water, it stimulates the fish, right? And it triggers that aggressiveness. I think in, in, instinctively they can't help figure out what that is. So on a dry dropper rig, they're either gonna smash the dry or if you have a little nymph or midge pattern tied to the end, they're gonna hit that, right? You got two chances to hit it. So on any dry dropper rig, if it's not the stimulator, it's probably the chubby Chernobyl, but this pattern, again, you, the options are endless on the colors, the sizes. I'm always tying the larger end, 12, 10, maybe eight bass love large stimulators. That is my list. Um, and also for the giveaway, I, and you stuck around this long, thank you so much. I would like you guys to subscribe and comment below. Comment the phrase, I'm a trout freak. I'm gonna randomly pick somebody and they're gonna get a free copy of my new ebook that I published. It's a small ebook, it's uh, about 30 pages of my tips and tricks on fly tying photography. Um, so basically what I've learned through my trials and errors uh, on how to try to get the best sort of settings and setup to capture your beautiful flies that you guys are all creating. Everyone wants to showcase their hobby and their love for the hobby and how, and you know just simply take pride in their work so this fly tying photography ebook can be yours for free comment below i'm a trout freak i'm gonna pick it and on my next video and on instagram i will be sort of just announcing that winner thanks for watching stay tuned for some other coming videos in this series we're going to be doing uh, my, my top five nymph patterns top five streamer patterns stay tuned appreciate you thanks for watching guys cheers